Welcome back to a new episode of BMW Today. My name is Joy and today's topic is the iX3. With me is Rebecca Gross. Hi Rebecca, how are you doing? Hi Joy, great, thank you. What is your job in the company? I'm in product management. Okay. So uh, for this car, and we're trying to uh, go in the customer's mind and uh, transfer their needs and wishes together with the engineers to uh, this great product. Seems like all the product managers are trying to read our minds. The iX3, so it's the electrical brother of the X3? Exactly. Okay. So it's our latest member to complete the X3 family. So we have now for our customers, we call it the full power of choice, next to the diesel, the petrol, the PHEV, and now the all-electric version. So depending on the customer's needs, you can go for exactly this variant that suits your driving behavior and uh, driving style best. So Rebecca, let's talk about the engine. Tell me a little bit more about that. So here it's our fifth generation of eDrive technology. And with that, we really take efficient dynamics to a new level. What we do have here is that the electric drive unit really comes without any rare earth material. Also the uh, power density increased by up to 30%. Okay, and um, tell me, are electric engines really sustainable? Our engineers have uh, managed to construct the electric drive unit without rare earth materials. And also in our high voltage battery, we managed to reduce the percentage of cobalt by more than two thirds. Oh, wow, that's impressive. The iX3, what is new? I mean, we see it at first sight, yeah. the kidney for sure. Yeah. So um, and with the kidney, uh, we have nicely blue BMW i accents that are all around the car. And uh, also we completely redesigned the front okay. to a new, more modern and fresh look, mm -hmm. a more digital look as we call it, because of the closed surfaces. Yeah, I can see that the front is very close, even the kidney. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then also uh, we have it at the side. Okay. So if we move to the side, yeah. you see here uh, our BMW air breather yeah. with the uh, BMW i logo. So you instantly recognize it as the all electric model and also at the door cladding. Oh yeah, very you cool. See, yeah. And the rims look closed, like they're aerodynamic rims, right? Exactly, but newly designed aerodynamic rims. Mm -hmm. So they come with uh, also improved functions. They are 15% lighter, so they also have a lower air resistance. And in doing so, uh, you can get up to plus 10 kilometers E-range in WLTP. Okay, 10 kilometers more E-range means sums up to how big is the range? You can drive up to 460 kilometers in that WLTP range. Okay, very cool. Can I have other rooms? For sure. We make choice for our customers really easy. So we have two models, model inspiring as a base variant and model impressive, uh, as you see here. And standing here, I can see there are three cameras. So the iX3 has driving assistant professional instead of driving assistant plus with the normal X3, right? Yeah, so what's the difference uh, is that we have a great value for money package that we offer to our customers. So the driving assistant professional you already get in the base version. Oh, what else do we have in the base version? So yeah, not only this, you uh -huh. also get the BMW Live Cockpit Professional oh, with the wow. full digital instrument cluster. Very cool. Also, you see it here at the top, the panorama glass roof. Okay. So this is already coming as standard as well. And then some highlights in the interior. Okay, then let's talk about the interior. Can we have a closer look? Oh, okay. Looks like nearly like a conventional X3. That's true, but uh, have a second look here. I can see the iX3 badge. Yes. I can see the blue start stop button. Yeah, so maybe I'll show you this first. Yeah. Oh, so cool. That's our new start sound uh, that was composed together with Hans Zimmer. Mm. It's not only that we get the sound when pushing the start stop button, but we also have an iconic sound electric while driving. Okay, so. very cool. I can see also something blue on the gear shift. Oh yeah, there is a B instead of an S. So this is something what uh, we now newly introduce. It's the B stands, so to say, for brake. And okay. uh, what you can choose is the maximum recuperation when going into the B mode. Okay, that means you have several recuperation modes. Exactly, you got it. So what you see here on the display, yeah. you can decide uh, between high, medium and low recuperation okay. level. And what is this adaptive mode? Well, that's my personal highlight. Okay. So when driving the car, the adaptive mode automatically adjusts the level of recuperation. Mm -hmm. So for example, if you have traffic in front of you, it recuperates stronger. Mm -hmm. If you are on a highway and there is like a freeway to go, mm -hmm. it goes into a coasting mode. Mm -hmm. So we always, or the car chooses always the most efficient way 
and in doing so also increases the e-range best for the customer. Okay, very cool. So inside it looks pretty much like a conventional X3, but I guess the trunk looks different. Have a look in there. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, wow! The trunk floor is even! Yes, so that's completely even and we have almost the same trunk space as the X3, so with 510 liters. Oh. So it was very important for us that we keep the full functionality from the X3 also for this electric version. That's really very cool. So let's talk about hard facts. Horsepower. Yes, 286 horsepower. Okay, 0 to 100? 6.8 seconds. And torque? That's the right question. <laughs> so we have 400 newton meters of torque. Oh, okay. And this with the BEV right from the start. So when you go in the car, as soon as you press the pedal, you really get that electric drive feeling that is so special for this car. So really you should go for a try. Okay, so I'll give it a try. Can we talk about charging? Like when the car's empty once, how long does it take to charge it fully up again? Sure, so we have a true charging expert here, Tanya. Okay. She can give you the answer to all of these charging questions. Okay, then I'll move on to Tanya and thank you, Rebecca, for your time. Hope to see you soon again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, Tanya. How are you doing? Hi, thank you very much. Good. So, tell me, what is your job in the company? I'm a product manager for BMW Charging. BMW Charging is very important, especially for the electrified cars. Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, that's right. We are developing a charging portfolio for home charging and for public charging. Okay, so home charging and public charging are two departments. Tell me a little bit about home charging. Yeah, for home charging, we have different devices, in fact. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to flexibly charge your car when you're on the road, yeah. I would recommend to have a look on our brand new product, yeah. the flexible fast charger. You can see some plug and play stuff. Yeah, that's right. What is that? It has different adapters. Okay. It has an adapter uh, for a household socket mm -hmm. and another adapter for a industrial socket. Okay. And you can choose your adapter and uh, then connect it to your device and always have the maximum charging power of your infrastructure. So how long does it take with the normal socket to charge the car? Yeah, that depends in fact. With a normal socket uh, and with a charging power of um, 11 kilowatts, mm -hmm. it takes uh, a bit less than seven hours to charge your vehicle. So depending on your plugs, you can choose between several options. That's very cool. And we also have wall boxes. That's right. Yeah. So for fast and convenient charging at home, mm -hmm. we have our BMW Wallbox Essential. Okay. So that's a wallbox with a charging power of up to 22 kilowatts. Mm -hmm. And I've heard of second wallbox as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have uh, additional wallboxes. It's our smart wallboxes. Yeah. Uh, we purchase with our partners, in fact. Okay. So if you have a special need like metering requirements, mm -hmm. then we recommend to go for a partner wallbox. Okay, so while the wallbox is stationary, the cable here is flexible. That's correct. It's flexible and it is light. You can take it with you wherever okay. you want to go. Do I have another option for charging on the road? Yes, when it comes to public charging, uh, we have a big network of 450,000 public charging spots all over the world. Did you hear that? 450,000 charging points. That's really impressive. Okay, so... With it, it also, we have the possibility to do high power charging. High power charging for the iX3, what does that mean? Uh, it's very important for that vehicle. Okay. It comes with a charging performance of up to 150 kilowatt. Oh, that's triple of that what we had with i3. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, wow, that's very impressive. So we have a big performance. Mm -hmm. And that means when you do high power charging, you can charge it up to 80% in only 34 minutes. Oh, okay, wow. And how long does it take at home? At home, um, it's a bit less than seven hours with our wall box. Okay, and how do I pay that? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's all within the BMW charging system. And how does that work? So you have an application behind it, uh, mm -hmm. you can put your credit card details into it, and then you can easily uh, unlock and pay with the BMW charging card. Okay, and do I need that card necessarily, or can I use it with my app? It also use? works with the application. Okay, very good. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. What about finding those uh, charging spots. Yeah, you have different options. Mm -hmm. You can use the My BMW app uh, to yeah, search for a parking spot. 
also your navigation system, for example. Oh, that's cool. Can you show me that on the navigation system? Yeah, with pleasure. Um, otherwise, I think we have now the expert with us, Stefan. He can perhaps show it to you. Okay, one more expert. And thank you for your time, Tanya. Hope to thank see you, you soon again. And we'll move over to Stefan. Hi, Stefan. Hi, Joanne. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Tell me, what is your job in the company? Well, I'm a product manager for digital services. Okay, so you can tell me more about finding charging spots. Yes, and actually that's the right question, because finding a charging station or planning a long trip or yeah. how and where I charge is an important question to our customers. Definitely. And this is the reason why the BMW X3 comes along with connected charging. Mm -hmm. And connected charging is basically a bundle of smart features that um, support our customer in the context of e-mobility. So what, what does that mean for long trips which I plan? What support do I get? I think the best is, uh, I should just show it to you. Okay. One example is um, what you can see right here, the blue circle. Um, it indicates you or gives you an impression about your uh, remaining range. Okay, yeah. So you can instantly see how far you can go. And if I want to go further? If you want to go further, the navigation system uh, automatically adds charging stops along your route. It's really cool. And do I also see if the charging point is available or not? Yes, you can see it right here. It's the green indication. Cool, very cool. And if I want to plan a trip, do I have to sit in the car and plan it? No, definitely not. We have the MyBNW app and it provides you with a bunch of features that help your planning. Oh, so I can sit on the sofa and plan my route. Yeah. If you want to, I um, get out of the car and show you. Yeah, show please, you. please. Okay. Okay, now show me the new MyBMW app. Here you have it. Okay. And as I said, it offers a bunch of uh, features. Mm -hmm. um, apart from finding a charging station nearby, you have also the range circle now within the app. Oh, that's cool. You can also uh, see recent charging cycles. So you ha now have a charging history, which oh, gives you an cool. impression about your charging behavior and your general costs. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Stefan, any personal highlight? Yes, my personal highlight is definitely the BMW Digital Key. It allows you to share the key in a matter of seconds with five people. And you can also share the access with restrictions, okay. which I think is pretty neat. Oh, okay, cool. Then I would say send me the key. Okay, exceptionally. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen that before. So, you should have it. Ah, yeah, I can see that. Thanks for that. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. Hope to see you soon again. And guys, thanks for watching BMW today and see you on the next episode. <laughs>